Hi, I'm Jody, and we are continuing continuing our free LPIC 1 lessons. Now we are speaking about creating and changing hard and symbolic or soft links. Very, very easy, straightforward, but very useful and fun to know. One of the easiest LPIC lessons you are going to have. Uh, let me tell you what are links. If you are familiar with an operating system called Windows, you know about short links, I believe. You have a file somewhere. Now you know that this is saved somewhere on the disk based on your file system. You have an allocation table like a FAT or EXT or something somewhere, which says we have this name. This is the owner. This is the last access, blah, blah. And it is saved here. It's about I know. Right? It says file A is saved here. Whenever you go to file A, it reads this data and you do whatever you want. When you are creating a shortcut or a soft link, a hard link, let's be specific, a hard link in Linux, it's like this. You create another B with all the same data and it points to the same file. So whenever you use B, this will be the same file. If you edit A, practically you are editing B. A soft link is when you create something else, which is called C. I'm getting hand, I, my, I'm getting professional in using this tool. I'm changing colors. C, this is a soft link. It points to A. So whenever you edit C, you are editing A. So you are editing this. But the link is different. B, which is a hard link, is a direct point, directly points to the file itself. The main file was A. We created a hard link like this, and we created a soft link like this. So, as a fun point, if I delete A now with RM or even on link command, B will still work because it directly points here, but C won't work. Let's see in action. This is my Ubuntu. I will create some directory here, for example, mkdir links. I will go to the links. I will create a file here, A. So I have the file A, ls, ls-l. It's a regular file with the access. I will create with ln linking many people get confused on if they write the link first or not it's like copy cp a to b you copy a to b ln link a to b you will copy a over b and copy you will create a link from a which is b so b will point to a so ln a to b just like copy L, I have a B. And the short ln S A to C. Now I have a C which points to A. Exactly what I told you. You have a file. On the allocation table, you say this is called A, the owner is blah, blah, it's located here, this is the last access time, these are the access permissions, and it points to this C, location of the file. Then I created the ln A and B. So I created the B, which points to the same place with all the same data. And then I created ln s for soft a to c so i created a c which points to a because it's a soft link with the same data it will point at the eventually here but if i delete a b will still work but c won't work you can also see look uh, see this here c points to a and it's a link on the ls you can do dash i it will show you inodes you can see that 
A and B do have same I notes. Interesting. Because they exactly point to same thing. But C do have a different I note because it points to A. Some more in depth. If I edit my file with whatever name it has, and do another ls, you can see that a and b are both showing larger size. Hmm. Because they are both showing the size of that specific file. Because a is pointing to the file, b is pointing to the file. But as we talked, c is pointing to a. So the size on c is not changed. c points to a. If you want to delete these, you can unlink them or rm them. But first, which one is better? What's your idea? Right. If one of them was better than the other, we would just teach that. Like less and more. Less is better, so we just teach less. They have differences. They have different usages. You saw how this works. If you delete A, B will still work. This is good. If you delete A, C will be broken because it points to A. But if you have two different file systems, two different file systems, not files, like slash sda2, dev sda2, and slash dev sdb3, you cannot create a hard link from this to this, but you can create a soft link. That's why soft links are better. You will see them more and more. <laughs> or if you have a directory like temp, you cannot create another hard link to a directory. You should create a soft link to a directory. Let me show you. If you have a dir called dir, you cannot ln dir to new dir. It says hard links not allowed for directories. You have to create soft ls these are advantages for soft links and you will see soft links more on your system comparing with hard links if i rma or another command is on link a we don't have a anymore so it will give us an error now b still works size is correct but C doesn't work because C points to A and A is not there anymore. You can say cat B, it works. If you say cat C, it says no such file or directory because it points to A. You can unlink B and unlink C. And now it's cleaner. Or if you don't want this anymore, you can unlink new dir. Or you can delete it. Traditional way. I think this was all the things I wanted to tell you, I believe. You also saw this L here, which is for links. And that's it. If you want to find them on your system, you can do a find whenever you want to search, but type is link. So I can do a find here. But I want type links. It says, okay, no link here. Where am I? There is no link here. Search user bin. It says, okay, these are links. Very fun. What is this? LSLTRH slash user bin FTP. Okay, this is a link to ETC alternatives FTP. Cool. And one important usage of these systems. Practically, you can create different names for the same file. Why this is useful? Say I'm a programmer and I write my programs in Python 3. So when I want to run my scripts, run my program, I have to do Python 3 script name. That py and it runs. But what is this Python 3? When I'm installing Python, it installs Python 3.8.
So should I say 3.8? It's ugly. Some other system may be 3.6. If I do an update, maybe this is gone and I'm using 3.10. So what I do is, this is what my distro does. It creates a Python tree and links it to Python 3.a. So practically it does a ln-s, for example, user bin Python 3.a to user bin Python 3. This way, whenever I run this, practically I'm running this. After some time, my system might upgrade itself and this become Python 3.10. Should I change anything here? Yes, just change the link. Change the link to point to this one. So I have one Python 3 which points to the running version of Python 3 on my system. This is actually what is happening. If I say which Python 3, it says this is your Python 3. I can say ls-l user bin Python 3 and it says okay, user bin Python 3 is a short link to Python 3.10. So whenever you are running this, practically you are running this. I say, okay, I have some software which exclusively needs to be run like this, Python script. I have a huge bash file and it does like this. What should I do? Very easy, we know short links. I will go to user bin and say sudo ln-s Python 3 to Python. So whenever I say Python from now on, ls-l, Python, whatever, here I have a Python, which is a short link to Python 3. I have a Python 3, which is a short link to Python 3.10, and I have a software which is called Python 3.10. So from now on, if I run Python, practically I'm running this because of this chain. This is why short links are very useful. You have some specific library, which is called lib blah blah 3.123a. But your programs, when they want to, they want to use this, they just say load lib blah 3, because it needs version 3. So you create a short link of this to the whole thing, and this will work. Or for Java, it's very common. Different versions of Java can coexist and you just link one of them and use that one. This is why short links are very useful. Fun session, easy, hope you enjoy it.